Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I am here today at the Mexican Trade and Culture Office in Taipei City, Taipei, for the group show, Our Second Home. And I have been invited to show in this group show, and we're going to meet the other artists. This is my display. It's called Control and Protection. It's a group of my prints all put together that has the message, is it control, is it protection? Have a look. And uh, last but not least, we have a set of works back there by uh, Michael Clayton, who is not Mexican, but we've adopted him as Mexican. Uh, he's from Canada, uh, a land that's also very significant for us because uh, our daughter lives there, is married to a Canadian, and she has a Canadian baby. So um, he, uh, Mike, has. has lived in Mexico, has studied in Mexico, and contrary to what happened to the Mexican artists here, he produced those works mostly in Mexico, and they're Mexican, Mexican inspired. So I, we thought that it would also be a very, very nice addition to have him, um, you know, exhibiting here. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you to Mr. Torres and to Alejandra. I am Canadian, but I did study and live in Mexico, and you can see from my work I'm quite inspired by Mexico, so it is a real honor to be able to be included with these uh, wonderful Mexican artists, and one of the best things about this show is how different everyone's work is. Um, so again, thank you all for coming, I know it was the last minute, and thank you for having me to your party. <laughs>
So yo fui a estudiar en San Miguel de Allende, en Guanajuato, y ya tuve clase de pintura, de grabado, de escultura, a batik, hasta tejido también. Pero este de grabado me llama más atención. So tengo de linografía, este es como tiene un placa de lino, y esta es litografía que tiene un piedra, con este dibujo en la piedra, y tengo también de woodcut, y este es de madera, y este es un relief print. So ahí puedes buscar cuál te, te llama más atención, que, que te sientes más, y para mí es lino. Y por eso tengo este. Y este es como una instalación y tiene todo. Este es el centerpiece y todo el símbolo está afuera de este, en el medio. Sí. Y por el muerto de miedo, uh, es como, como vives tu vida. Como siempre, no puedo hacer esto, no puedo hacer esto porque estoy miedo, muerto de miedo o quieres vivir como quieres vivir. So es los dos faces de eso, ¿no? Que vas a vivir tu vida y un día no vas a estar aquí, pero también tienes que vivir con vida, ¿no? Porque mucha gente están, uh, tiene miedo esa, no puedo, no puedo, no puedo. O es como, estoy worrying. It's like, no, yo quiero vivir mi vida. So, eh, también puede ser que unas cosas que no puedes hacer o no quieres hacer es porque tienes miedo, como yo no quiero ser bungee jumping o no quiero ser skydiving, pero también estoy aquí, ya mandé un email a señor Torres, tengo este arte de México y esto también me da miedo, pero tengo que push myself para hacer algo. So, por eso estoy bien orgulloso para estar aquí en esta exposición. Muchísimas gracias. 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 Que muy importante. I just want to say again, thank you so much for this opportunity because this is a group show of Mexican artists and my artwork is here, so thank you so much. Well, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, the, you know, a brief introduction and modest introduction we have, 
Um, this is basically Mexican artist, yes, but you are adopted Mexican. Yes. You are definitely considered Mexican by us, and certainly your work is, I mean, you can make it more Mexican. Actually, it's more evident where it is inspired from the, the rest of the works by any of the Mexicans exhibiting here tonight. So, um, for us, it's always very, very important to share Yes. with the... Um, you know, with the locals, with the people that are the place where we're being represented um, to showcase the values and the traditions and the artists' works from Mexico. <laughs> so, for us, this represents Mexico very clearly. Right. Um, I think you've learned the technique. I think you uh, you are uh, you know somebody that can. Be proud of uh, what he can share, representing Mexico and learning from Mexico and grabbing the Mexican culture and ancestry and uh, transmitting it. So uh, for me, ever since uh, you know we made contact quite some time ago, um, I thought it was really worth um, you know exploring possibility at one point or another to have you, and I, I'm glad that. This, you know, came uh, as a good opportunity by, you know, having a, a collective uh, show that would, you know, uh, exhibit the kind of work that you've done, the kind of work that you absorbed and you studied in Mexico. So it's it's a pleasure to have you. Thank and you. Like I said, Mike, it's. Uh, you you are an adopted Mexican. So I'm Mexicano. And, uh, you are Mexicano and. Uh, we take you as that, and uh, we're pride. Uh, we have, we have, we're proud, and we have pride to showcase this in Mexico's home as something really showing the Mexican heritage uh, and art. Thank you so much. So we have kept the director. It's closing time. Thank you so much for your time. And that is our second home here at the Trade Office in Taipei City, Taiwan. We'll see you on the next episode.